our dance on that. Yeah. Come out and dance on that. I was going on my sermon uh, this week, and it was just my usual steps. Uh, and usually on Sunday, uh, I get up a little early and I go through my sermon. Uh, and then I got, a, um, I got a Facebook request from a uh, message from uh, my family union, and uh, my cousin had had a massive stroke from one. And Louisiana was kind of different. We don't, we, we grew up for like, more like brothers and sisters. And so uh, we had a Sunday gathering where my grandma and all her sisters would come together. We still do it. We get together. We were more like brothers and sisters than our cousins. Um, but he was a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. <laughs> yeah, so then, that was all. But then, uh, in the midst of that, uh, in preparing for the sermon, it, it just spoke volumes of who God is. And it's the very thing that we do. And so when they were saying that dance part, uh, just sometimes you look back on your life and you realize what God is doing in your life, what God's still doing. Uh, it, it, it was about like this morning. I was getting my dance on this morning. Yeah. And realized how good God was. Yeah. And then sometimes you gotta praise your way through your circumstances. Yeah. And I don't know how you praise God. Here, you'll find this text. 
when he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. Behold, there came a, a leper and worshipped him and said, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Mm -hmm. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said unto him, See thou tell no man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priest, and offer the gift of Moses uh, commanded for a testimony to them. And when Jesus was entered into the companion, there came unto him a terror, beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lies homesick of palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. The satyrian answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shalt come into my room, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For a man under authority have the soldiers under me, and I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he do it. When Jesus had heard this, he marveled and said to them that, that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great a faith, no, not one in Israel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. For the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into other darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the self, healed self same hour. And when Jesus was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife, his wife's mother, lay in the sick of fever, and he touched her, and, and the fever left her, and she arose and ministered unto them. But when, when even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick. And they seated in the presence of the Lord. That's a lot of reading.
kind of backed away. But, but Jesus, what you gonna do? Jesus took out the mm -hmm. They start to back away from it. But I, I, I want to paint you a picture of humility. Yes, I know. See, the leper didn't come demanding Jesus do something. Right, right, right. He didn't come claiming and grabbing and say, Jesus, I got it. Right. He didn't come with, with, a, with a dictator's heart and say, because of my condition, you have to do something. Yeah, right. No, he came and humbled himself and said, if it be that I will. See, that tells me that he understood that Jesus could heal him. That's right, that's right, right, right. I can understand that he wanted Jesus to heal him. Uh -huh. But instead of, uh, of using some kind of authority he thought he might have, uh, this first thing is that he accepted the authority of God. Right, right. By saying, if it be that I will, And 
I'm so thankful that God looked me out of my right hand. Yes. 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 I'm so glad that God can take the rock of motherfucker and says, You worthy of my touch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, 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 when I think about what God does for us, uh -huh. you know, there's some folk right now who wouldn't touch you mm -hmm. because they got an attitude love about you. Yeah. But God does yes. put restraints on those who accept his yes. authority. Yes. So he reaches out and he touches the one who left us. And he doesn't say he had to wait for the results. He mm. doesn't say that he had to, to wait for the MRI, wait yeah. for this, and yeah. wait for the doctor to come back. But instantly, yeah. he Aren't you glad that once we accept God's authority, yeah. He can work out some stuff in our life yeah. simply by touching yeah. us? Yes, sir. It's something about knowing you're in the presence of God that you can be free to be who you are in God. And what He does as a leper, He does something that is against tradition. He's not going to be in a group of people. But aren't you glad you can see past the folk and see Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to shout. Because sometimes you got to go through some stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. you got to go through some uncomfortable stuff yes. to get to Jesus. Amen. Yes. But once we accept Jesus yes. and his authority, yes. a simple touch, Sister Warren, simple touch. makes a whole lot of difference uh -huh. in the midst yeah. of our life. Yes. So yes. once we talk about this, this, and this is a thing we want this. He says, don't be distracted by your blessing. Mm -hmm. All right, right. I didn't come to destroy the law. There's still some stuff you gotta do. Yes, right, 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 right. Now, don't go, don't go talk to mama them. Mm -hmm. Don't go because you know he ain't talking to folks. You know, he even says family. You see what he says? Protocol. Go see go go, go see the, 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 the priest. Mm -hmm. Now don't go home and eat the collar right. don't, don't go over there and sit right above the door.
He knew that Jesus lawfully couldn't come on his roof. Right, right. And he says, you know, every person would say, yeah, come on, Jesus, come on. I got, I got some stuff. I got a big house. I got some stuff. I got some hardwood floors. I got, it's a death right. I'm no longer in the death to him. Jesus on behalf of somebody who's 
more than you. Yeah. 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 See, see, we ain't got to always pray for ourselves. Yeah. We ain't always got to be about ourselves. Yeah. But in God's will and His authority, is looking out for everybody else yeah. in the midst of our life. Yeah. Right. And so, so those two things talk about us being where God will have us to be. That we're working through our storm in our will. That we're working through God in the midst of our success. But see, the third one kind of kind of kind of kind of sounds me up. The third one, the third one, Brother Robinson, threw me into a, you know, this is where I just want to just lose my mind. Because the third one says, there is a response to his authority. Right. There is a response to God's authority. See, the, the third one says that as Pete, that, that, as Jesus, see, come down the mountain and encounter these folk, he goes to Peter's house. And he sees Peter's mother in law. Uh -huh. His mother in law. Uh -huh. yeah. his, his mother in law. Right. <laughs> Peter's mother in law. <laughs> At the house. Uh, I'm trying to get y'all to see this. <laughs> he went to Peter's house, and Peter's mother -in -law was at the house. Uh, yeah. You gotta invite your mother out, mother out to your house. <laughs> <laughs> and she is in. I mean, she is laying down, not doing anything. Right. Aren't you glad that God is working on behalf of us, even for us? That, that, that God is working out the good for us, even if we don't say a word. She just laying there. Uh -huh. right. And because God loves us this much, because Jesus loves us this much, she didn't have another word. Mm -hmm. Jesus went up there and healed her. Mm -hmm. now, 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 watch this. Watch this. Yes. Watch this. She don't have much. Because she's at Peter's house. Right. But what she does have. She gives it back to God. Yes. Yes. It says when she was healed, she immediately got up and started serving the Lord. Yes. Yes. Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> the of the Lord God. <laughs> 
you all are just one button more. It's been a long time to walk. Just act a plump fool like he just gave you a million dollars on your head because he woke you up this man.
awesome service today. Powerful service. I just was telling the pastor. I'm not sure what the first lady got cooking, but he showed us some deep fried catfish, some cornbread, and some canned yams today. Had some collard greens that were seasoned perfect. I don't know about nobody else, but I can take this type of teaching and preaching every day. I don't have to wait till Sunday. I can take this every day. Pastor, I love you. I appreciate you. Appreciate this family here. He asked the question, what is our response? Well, God done something July 25th. Walked us right into this here. I don't know where y'all come from, but I was with y'all when y'all was over at the storefront. But my response to this is hallelujah. My response to this is glory to God. I don't know about nobody else, but my response to God is, God, I thank you for what you're doing for us right now. So lift up your hands. God, we thank you. We praise you even right now. But this is what you're doing, God. God, we want our response to you to always be hallelujah, regardless of what the situation may be, God. God, you're able to take us high. You're able to take us low. But most importantly, God, you're able to take us through. So, God, we thank you for it even right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you for your visitation today, God. We thank you for your sweet uh, spirit of coming in this place and resting in us, God. We thank you for how you're doing and what you're doing with our pastor, Lord. God, we pray that you continue lifting him up and continue giving him strength. Even now, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, this is not a demand. This is a request to you, God. God, I need you to keep your loving arms around him, God. I need you to keep your spirit upon him, God. I need you to protect him, God. I need you to walk with him, God. I need you to have your way in his life, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, God, bless his family, Lord. Bless the first lady, God. Give her strength even now, Lord, as she holds up the man of God. Give her strength as she, she holds her family together, God. Give her strength as she helps undergird this that your prayer has come fruition to, God. So, God, I thank you for them even now, Lord. Thank you for every member here, God. Thank you for the choir, Lord. Thank you for the director, Lord. Thank you for the deacons, Lord. Thank you for the members, God. God, I thank you for them even now, God. So, God, I ask and pray that you continue watching over us, Lord. And give us the right response to that which you do, God. God, when you take us up, give us the right response. Lord, when you take us down, give us the right response, God. We want to be found, hallelujah, and thank you on all things that you have in our lives, Lord. So, God, we thank you for this awakening congregation, Lord. We thank you for your people, God. In the 